Hey guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. Got a really nice light here from Photonican. Uh, brand new to the market. This is their 820 watt flagship model. And great performer, as you'll see towards the end. Much more interestingly, it's got an innovative spectrum. Haven't seen anything new come out in the spectrum uh, area for quite some time, or at least not one that has uh, innovative features or, or, or characteristics and science to back it up. So this very interesting study was released last year in June of 2024. Um, study done by a university in Holland in the Netherlands, which did a large controlled study of a number of different uh, light spectrum and the effect on growth rate, yield and um, potency of in particular CBD varieties in this instance. Now this is not any old study you can see it was um, peer-reviewed uh, and there was input by uh, Dr. Bruce Bugby so you know it's of a, a high quality, a high standard this study and they used over 128 plants, eight different chambers, uh, two different uh, power intensities 600 and 1200 and then they did extensive tests on the harvest itself using uh, using gas chromatography to analyze the um, the samples of the harvest and determine you know cannabinoids terpenoids etc interestingly in pretty much all the criteria so in terms of mass uh, harvested per plant uh, in terms of CBD concentration and terpenoid levels they all showed a significant increase under this uh, spectrum that was used which the unique element to it was that it had two red peaks, one at 640 and one at 660 nanometers. Um, it's not, uh, they don't state what the reason for this is, although there's some theory behind it. Um, in, in my view, it's likely that it's spreading the load in terms of um, allowing the plant to absorb more light by spreading out those peaks um, and not overloading the plant in one particular area. So Photonican have released this light, this new uh, 820 watt Pro with a bunch of different LEDs. They've got white LEDs along with the 640 nanometer reds and 660 nanometer reds. That's spreading that uh, red load, exactly the same spectrum as was used in that, uh, that experiment. And they have also added 730 nanometer LEDs, as you can see. The format of the light is pretty standard. It's a foldable LED bar light, so uh, no assembly required, just unfold it and hang it, simple as that. Comes with the wire hangers. Uh, it's eight bar LEDs, lot these slim line, but run very cool uh, LED bars, along with the LED driver mounted on the back. Front of the driver, you got your manual dimming knob here to adjust up and down in uh, increments of 20%. And of course, you've got your RJ connections there. So you can run this uh, either daisy chain units together or uh, run them from an external controller. In terms of performance then and price, um, it says it's an 820 watt uh, fixture. Pulls just a little bit more from that from the wall, 826 watts. And it's suited for a five by five. Put it in at two different hang heights. First at uh, 18 inches hang height at 30 centimeters. And this gives the maximum amount of power, not the most even spread, but a uh, very good high level of 970 micromoles average. And system efficiency, that's the amount of light reaching the plant canopy divided by the power uh, of 2.64. And that's right up there now. It's a hot, really high performance light. Yeah, if you want a little bit more even spread, hang at 18 inches or 45 centimeters and you get an average of 927 micromoles or 2.52 system efficiency. And that's just only down 4%, but as you can see, it gives a much more uniform spread. Um, light's available online, you can purchase it directly. Um, current price is $699 for an 820 watt light, which is pretty damn good. And of course, you got this innovation of the, uh, this dual uh, deep red LEDs so you're potentially getting an improvement on your yield and an improvement on your, uh, the quality of your harvest as well with that new spectrum. I'd be very interested to hear if anybody has seen this spectrum out before, anybody is using it, 
and um, how they find it. Very interesting paper to me. Um, I'm going to have a deeper look into this phenomenon and uh, see what else I can find out. But in the meantime, congratulations to Photonican on uh, pulling this out of the bag so quickly after that paper was out. Pretty impressive. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Links below if you want to check out the, uh, the light directly. Thanks.